Today we're going to be comparing two grinders. I got the Kinu M47 Classic, which starts about 350 range, and I have the Commandant C40 grinder, which starts at about 250. These are one of the two grinders that I was really, really trying to figure out which one I wanted to purchase. But first off, before we dive into it, I just want to say welcome to Kapin's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. So you're going to find a lot of reviews and comparisons on this channel, hoping that they aid you in choosing the gear that you want to purchase. Uh, I also want to ask that you please subscribe and like this video. That really helps me produce more content. If you're looking at purchasing anything that you find in this video, please use the links below where I make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. This helps me fund more videos. I also have an Instagram uh, account called Kabeen's Coffee Corner, so you're more than welcome to follow me there. So in this video, we are going to compare a couple different things. We're going to compare the features of these two grinders, and we're going to prepare compare them in both pour over and espresso and compare these side by side on which one I think is better and which one I would purchase for what use. So let's start off with a couple of the features. Uh, first off is there's no lid on the Kinu versus there is a lid on the Commandant. And this lid just pops off super simple like that with the handle uh, versus to load your beans in there. The Commandant or the Kinu M47 right here, you have to unscrew this entire thing to get this handle off. It's fixed in this position. It's not, like, it takes a little bit of time to take it off, um, but it's still there. The catch cup on the Kinu is magnetic. It has some magnets there and it just magnets in place right there versus the Commandant has a glass cup that screws on the bottom here. And now the next feature is how you adjust. To adjust, you have the, on the C40, you have the handle and you have to simply just click those left and right based off of whether you want it coarser or finer. And you have to count the clicks for the settings that you would like. On the Kinu, what you have is you unscrew this just a little bit. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there is number dials on there and there's a little, in, a little groove right here that indicates what setting you're at. So you have to keep spinning it entirely. So one full rotation, it goes to it goes to nine. So one full rotation would be one and then whatever number you're at. So it could be one, four, or it could be one, four, uh, two, five, which would mean that you're at the first increment in between the numbers there. So it's a very good, easy um, adjustment. You just simply unscrew, dial, lock, and then, um, you're good to grind that way. This one just sounds really nice too. It just feels it's, it feels so good, like simply just spinning this like this. It just you can tell both of these are quality grinders, and both of these are going to be very, very, very good grinders. So let's first off compare on the espresso side of things. When I compare these side by side on espresso, one of the things I found is that this Kinu grinds substantially finer, uh, not finer, substantially quicker. It can grind for espresso in about a minute where this one will take about two minutes, give or take on how fast you are grinding. But this one is substantially quicker and it does no, it is substantially noticeable. If I use, when I use this on a daily basis for the season that I, I first got this, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too much of a chore to grind. When I started using this, it, it was a little bit more chore to grind. Granted, for this one, I came from an air grind, jumped up to this, and started hand grinding with this. This one, I actually switched from using a niche zero to grinding, so that's just gonna be a little bit more of a pain when you think of it that way. However, I do like the lid on this when grinding. It doesn't bounce out versus the Kinu. I do have some popcorning where some beans shoot out on it. But one of the noticeable difference on grinding for espresso is for the Kinu, it's basically I can, fine tweak it however I want to. So if I'm pulling a shot of 18 grams in, 36 out, and I'm aiming for 27 seconds, and I'm at 29, I can easily just tweak it just a little bit finer to get that 27. Versus the Commandant in the standard way that it comes without the red clicks, you are at click settings and it jumps substantially. So I went from a 18 to 36 gram shot and it was 43 seconds at set click or at set six on the clicks and it also took a long time for it to even drip originally and then this is after first drip is where I'm getting these numbers and then for setting seven it was 18 seconds for same tamp same beans same time of even doing this 
uh, and that was a drastic change in there and it didn't allow me to fine tweak it as well as I could have. But for the price of this grinder, 100 bucks cheaper than this one, you could get the red clicks and I hear that solves quite a bit of that problem. And if you use a flare, it's a little bit easier to kind of dial in when you can adjust your pressure based off of your grind setting if you're having some, if you're off of your target time and target weight. So overall, if I'm gonna give this a head-to-head -head in espresso, this is gonna be the more enjoyable one to grind. It's gonna be quicker in this, and it's gonna give you better results because you can fine tweak it. However, if you got a side-by-side -side shot and it was both in the right parameters, I think you'd get a little bit more of the sweet and floral no notes out of the Commandante than you would, or the Commandant than you would the Kinu. But getting there, makes it a little bit difficult. And that's why I would choose the Kinu overall for espresso because I think it does a phenomenal job in that realm of things. When grinding both of these, these rubber bands were not included. Um, I had to pay another $10 for it and I felt like they were necessary because I'm left-handed. You can see a video of my complaint on that later down the road. Um, I found both of these, these catch cups, have some problems of getting grounds kind of caught into them and it's a little bit harder to get out on the fine edges. The nice thing about this one is it's nice to be able to see the catch cup to see when it's filling up and things like that and you know how full it is and you know when you're done and you know that you can get all the grinds out because it's a little bit easier to see. Moving on to stage two. So this one won, the Kinu won for the espresso battle um, because of the adjustability and the ease to grind. Now when we move to pour over, I think that is where the Commandant excels. If you're okay doing the clicks and counting the clicks and not getting lost on that, 100% of the time you're gonna get a better result out of the Commandant. I feel like it gives a more consistent grind um, at that coarser range than the Kinu does. However, this one isn't gonna disappoint for um, espresso, or for pour over, like you would notice it if you had them side by side and compared them like I did, but I don't think you would notice this on an in and out day basis. Um, so if you're looking for more of the pour over one, I think this was the one to go. Um, at the coarser range, it's gonna go a lot quicker and time isn't gonna be um, that big of an issue. However, I still think this one would go a little bit faster to this. If you're looking for portability, now when we put these hand grinders are meant to be portable, um, I think this one wins just cause you can, you can take this apart way quicker and I mean look at the size of those things like if I if I unscrew this which basically you have to unscrew this entire thing see this is this is why you don't take the handle off on a daily basis take that out and then this is out and then you have to screw that back on to make sure you don't lose any of those pieces in there And there you go, this thing is a little bit little bit bigger, um, but when it comes to weight, this thing feels substantially heavier. So I think these grinders overall, when I compare these two side by side, I think they have a great complementary, they complement each other well. I think if you had, I think buying both of these grinders over some electric grinders could be the way to go. Um, if you're willing to put forth a little bit of effort in there uh, and you're willing to grind, you can get both of these for $500 and $600, about $600 even to get both of these. And both of them can do both. But this one you have this set to your espresso setting, you're good to go. You leave it there and then you can set this one to your pour over and you're going to get great, great cups either way. Never really have to change the grind settings on there at all. So overall, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions on what the difference is or anything that I didn't cover here, again, this is my espresso pick, uh, this is my pour over pick, and this is also my portability um, pick too as well. I wish that these grinders would almost talk to each other a little bit because I like the catch cup on this. Um, I like the lid on this. That's one of my biggest pet peeves about the Kinu. I like the grind adjustments on this, but the, there's something about the taste on this one that is just a little bit better. I love the pitch on the way you grind on this one better, but this one's easier to grind. So there's a, there's a lot of pros and cons, and the only way that you would be really unhappy with one of these things is if you tried to grind espresso with this and you didn't buy the red clicks. That's about my only beef with it, is it 
it doesn't work well for espresso without red clicks, but with red clicks, I think it would do a phenomenal job on that. So let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to drop those in the comments. And remember, please like and subscribe this video. I got some other great comparisons coming up in the realm of grinders, so stay tuned. This one's gonna get compared with a niche, as well as this one will, as well as a Barazza 270WI. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you so much for watching.